With the update for DaVinci Resolve 20, we got a new feature that is called the Extras Download Manager. We have this in the desktop version. I will show you this in a second. But when I was playing around with the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve, I found out even if it's not in the list of the new features, we have the Extras Download Manager as well. So in this video today, I will show you what the Extras Download Manager is, how you can open it even on the iPad and download the content, and number two, why is there even a download manager in the first place? Hey, and welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel, and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve on Final Cut Pro, especially for the iPad. So if you're not a subscriber yet, then definitely hit the subscribe button and like this video if you learned something yet. Hey, Daniel, you haven't even teached anything. So the Extras Download Manager is a new feature that they added now with DaVinci Resolve 20. And the main reason why we have this now is because with DaVinci Resolve 20 and even in DaVinci Resolve 19 and the versions before, basically what I'm trying to say is there were a lot of AI tools over the years that are coming now to DaVinci Resolve, which is blowing up the software. So if you just want to download the software, it becomes bigger and bigger. So Blackmagic was thinking about that and found a solution. Not every user that has DaVinci Resolve, especially the studio version, needs all the AI tools. So with this new extra download manager, that one is the download manager. It looks like this when you open this one here on the iPad. With this download manager, you can now have a list of content and we will get more content in the future when they have more AI stuff and more stuff to download. You will see which package you can download additionally extra onto your DaVinci Resolve. And the cool thing is even here in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, and we can already download the package for the extended AI transcription language support. That's 1.5 gigabytes. I can download this. I haven't tested that yet because my internet here is not really good. Let me know in the comments when you try this, if that actually also works with DaVinci Resolve. But my guess is it will actually work. You can download that one here as well. So if we look at the desktop version of DaVinci Resolve, this is how this window looks at the moment. So there's two packages that we can actually download because there's another feature that is called AI voice training. Unfortunately, we didn't got AI voice training onto the iPad. We will see if this is coming in the future. So there's another package that you can download here. And on a desktop, it's actually very simple how you can download this. You come here to DaVinci Resolve, and then here under Extras Download Manager, you can open this Download Manager. So, and how does it work here on the iPad? It's actually also very simple. So you need a keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard, and then you have to come into the shortcuts menu. So Option, Command, and K. And when you are here in the shortcuts menu, you can come here to DaVinci Resolve. This is basically like on a desktop when you click on top here, left DaVinci Resolve. Then I see all the features that are available inside of that DaVinci Resolve drop down menu. And here I see Extra Download Manager. I have to give this a shortcut because without a shortcut, this is just empty. So you have to give it now a shortcut. So you basically just click here until this is red highlighted. Now I can use my shortcuts. I will now use Option, Command and Zero. And now now with option command and zero, I can save, I can open this extra download manager. So I'm now in the edit page. If I open this one, the extras download manager is opening. Let me see if I can also open that in the cut page. Is this opening in the cut page? So if it doesn't open for you, maybe you are on the cut page. You have to come to the edit page. That's also one of the new I don't know. I didn't have that often this problem that when I was clicking here automatically the mouse is going to this one. But I hope with the next update for the iPad, we with the more precise mouse, we will not have this issue anymore. So I can come and click here on the edit page. So shortcut for the extras download manager, option command and zero. You have to be fast, option command and zero. And here we are, we have it. And how this window is working. I have my packages here and you can see if I already downloaded it. If I click on this one, it will start downloading how good your internet is, download everything. And if your content is downloaded, you can also delete the content from your um, device here as well. Here you can see my internet is very, very bad. So I would just close this one. I, I don't need this one. If you haven't seen my video about all the updates that we got for DaVinci Resolve, 20 version, definitely check out the video about DaVinci Resolve 20 here. I will link this one here on the screen. And if you found this helpful, let me know in the comments if you are using AI transcription language support and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, give this a like, thumbs up and ding a ding on the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. Bye.